Hey everybody, this is Adre Aldana, and I am at the University of Houston taking CIS 2348 with Professor Natalia Fofanova, and I'm going to be showing you a demonstration of a radio button using IntelliJ and JavaFX. So first, let's open IntelliJ. And let's open, let's go ahead and start a new project. So go up here at the top and file new project. And uh, you're going to see a list to the right here. Click on JavaFX. Make sure your SDK is set up. Uh, JavaFX application is selected and click next. And just save it anywhere that you can find it. Uh, for now, I'm just going to set it on the desktop. And um, I'm going to make a new folder there. And we're going to call it Radio Button Demo. All right. So click Finish. And it's going to open up Window. And this is your file tree here. Uh, we can go ahead and make it in the main Java file. It already has some text to get us started off. Um, we're gonna start fresh. So delete those things and let's write our import statements. So these are all the import statements that you're gonna use. And then down here you're gonna start um, declaring uh, variables, radio buttons, buttons, and all of that. So let's make stage and let's name it window. Let's make radio buttons. And we're going to name uh, one of them yes and the other one no. You can name them whatever you want. And we're going to make a button called submit. A toggle group called answer. A uh, VBox to hold our main layout an H box to hold our radio buttons and um, in the uh, in this area right here we're gonna first create our window we're gonna name it primary stage see how that's highlighted there then we're going to set the title of the window to something like radio button example. Now let's create a VBox to hold our main layout. We're going to have it at 300 pixels wide. And we're going to set the spacing of the elements 20 pixels. And then padding. For 15 for top, right, bottom, and left. Now we're going to create the H box for our radio buttons. And we're going to also set the width, the spacing, and the padding. The next thing we want to do is we're going to ask the user a question. And for my program, I'm just gonna ask a simple question. Uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna make a label. It's gonna call, be called question. I'm gonna ask, do you like your classes? And they are gonna be able to select yes or no, since you know we want them to have the option 
Um, instead of a checkbox, we want a radio button because we, you can only have one or the other, not both. So let's create a toggle group and radio buttons. So the answer is going to be a toggle group. That way both can't be selected. So, and then we're going to make the one of the radio buttons called yes and we're gonna set the text to be yes and then we're going to put this bu radio button in that toggle group we just created and now we're gonna make the no radio button and we're gonna have it say no and then set the toggle group to answer now we're gonna make a submit button and it's going to be called submit because we already named it up here and the reason we're putting stuff up here is so that um, we're going to have an alert box so when someone clicks submit it's going to show up uh, a message depending on what they selected if they selected yes it'll show one message if they selected no uh, it'll show a different message but for now let's create this button it's gonna say submit and this is very important here you're gonna set on action this which will connect it to the action we're about to write now let's add all the elements to the GUI you do this by um, putting your hbox or vbox um, get children add all this is the yes no and then the main layout which is a vbox get children add all and the order of matters okay so you um you add these in the order that you want them to appear so what's gonna happen is question is gonna be at the top and then the radio's hbox is gonna show up and then at the very bottom the submit button is gonna show up and that's exactly the order that we want our program to have so the order of adding the elements matters just for making it look nice, we're going to go ahead and center the H-Box and V-Box to have everything in the middle. Just because I like it that way, it's just personal, personal preference. Um, and now, the final step is to show the window. main layout um, th 350 and 150 and then window dot set scene main window show these three things are very important now in this program um, an action is going to happen so we need an event handler so let's go all the way to the top and right here it says public class main extends application we're gonna add on implements event handler action event now it's red right here because we haven't added it at the bottom um, as you can see, all of our import statements have been used. So let's go all the way to the bottom. And add our event. Now 
we're just going to name it event and it's going to be an alert information and there's going to be an if else statement because if yes is selected we're going to display uh, that's great so if the answer to the question that we set up here do you like your classes if the answer is yes we'll say something like that's great but if the answer is no um, we're gonna say hopefully next semester will be better so let's start with an if yes dot is selected method we're gonna do this alert dot set title Let's name it message. Pop up window title is going to be message. Um, set contact text. And this is the actual message. So if they say yes, we're going to just say that's great. And then show and wait. However, if they say, they, if they put no, then this is going to happen. So we're going to have message here, and it's going to say, hopefully next semester is better, and then show and wait. So now let's run the program and see what happens. Hopefully everything is good. So, as you can see, everything looks good. When one, one of these buttons is selected, the other one cannot be. And that's because we set a toggle group right here. It's very important. And uh, let's click Submit. And our, our message is displayed. Uh, I'm going to change this here. To say just a blank header text because I, I I just want to style it that way. You'll see the difference in a minute. So let's run that again. So if you select yes and click submit, it says that's great. If you click no, it says hopefully next semester is better. So you can see radio buttons are pretty useful and so are alert boxes um, I guess the most important thing is the toggle group and fitting all of your items within H boxes or V boxes and, and styling it up nicely um, and then at the very end you need to add all of your elements this way in the order that you want them to appear so as you can see we added the question it's up here first and then we added the radios uh, H box which contains the yes and the no yes and no and then we added the submit button down here and that's exactly how it appears so I hope this helps you um, with your programs making radio buttons uh, JavaFX and IntelliJ, and uh, hope you're enjoying your classes.